Hi. You notice my California hoodie? So we're changing a little bit location back from Bangkok to Southern California. And um, I don't know whether you ever had heard of the Sierra, but the Sierra is a beautiful area located about three to four hours northwest of Los Angeles. And um, we're looking to do some equity-based crowdfunding, which I'm going to explain to you. But before that, there's also some reward-based crowdfunding, which I'm going to introduce right away. If you invest in an airplane ticket from Bangkok to LA, we will give you a reward of a week holiday at, our, at the number three ski resort in the United States, which is Mammoth Lakes, California, where our business is located and where we can tell you not three minutes, but three hours about what we have to offer. So let me see if I can get this going. Our business is about sporting goods and outdoor experience and about concierge services for adventure. The gondola pitch is we roll up and acquire privately owned stores and then we turn them into the new Sierra lifestyle brand. We currently own four stores in California, in Mammoth Lakes and Bishop with three online stores. But we know that classic retail has no future. The big box stores, the Dick Smiths, the um, REAs are killing the small stores. So we are trying to find a new model how small individual family stores can survive in that environment. We're offering uh, two kinds of investments. One is uh, two kinds of equity investments. One is uh, convertible notes at 15% interest. The other one is uh, pure equity series A shares um, with a potential of nine to 15 times return. We got some traction and momentum going. Uh, the stores we owned are in business since 30 years, so they exist. You can go, you can see there, you can talk to the people, talk to the customers. This is a picture of the stores, um, of two of our stores. And um, I've put the Yelp in. We got four star ratings in general, people like us. So um, these are the two other stores that we have. Now, why are we looking to crowdfund? Why do we need money? We want to turn those stores into a regional brand in California. And if you see the map of California, we want to expand because our only hope of growth and sustaining is to buy additional stores and get the critical mass in order to make this long-term viable and sustainable. So thank you very much. And um, maybe some questions? I'm sorry, what exactly are you selling in the stores? Is it, is it yes, it's snowboards, skis, outerwear, footwear. We also have two rental uh, systems. So in wintertime, we rent skis, we rent snowboards, we rent boots. So how do you differentiate your service from anybody else who it, offers those services? Exactly. Right now, our stores are already well-established brands in Mammoth Lakes and in Bishop. However, the family-owned single store has no chance of long-term survival in the world of big box stores. So how we want to differentiate is we want to keep the family-owned uh, style, knowledge, and, um, and passion for the product, but we also want to turn into a national brand that has the buying power, the marketing power, in order to take that business into the next generation. You're not selling your own products, you're selling, you know... Uh, yes, other... we do sell all kinds of uh, brand store, uh, brand product that you know. So we sell Alpine skis and we sell, uh, you know, we sell cut, but partly own branded stuff that we, like this hoodie that we design ourselves, but we, uh, we sell classic brand product. And in the summertime, we sell bicycles and we sell hunting and fishing gear and we sell boots. Uh, you mentioned if I so um, invested in a plane ticket um, in, in, your, in the beginning. Can you walk 
us through a consumer journey what would happen if somebody yes. actually <laughs> actually donates the Exa money? Yeah. Exactly. So what would happen is, first of all, uh, there would be a discussion, uh, obviously, more detailed than we have right now, because time is running out, the gong will be there in two minutes, so I can walk you through that. That's totally unrealistic. So but what I can offer is that if anyone is interested in coming to California and checking us out, and maybe even interested in the EB-5 permanent residency visa in the US, which is a valid program offered for investors of $1 million and up, please contact me, talk to me, uh, Google Sierra Lifestyle. We also have a full uh, uh, campaign on crowdfunder.com. Talk to Hong Sing. Uh, I'm here in Bangkok. My longtime friend and partner, Philip Herzog, is in Mammoth Lakes. And we can do the detail not on this stage, I'm afraid, because of the gong, not of me. <laughs> we, will have, we can have a few more minutes if you yeah. would like to. So in summary, you're raising equity to get better economies of scale. It, absolutely, that's right. We need economy of scale. We're planning to turn our current business of seven and a half million turnover over the next seven years into a business that does $80 million. That's what we have identified as a scale that would be actually uh, sustainable. So we want to take our four shops to, let's say, 20 shops. We're not intending to become the Starbucks of the sporting goods world, but we need scale. Otherwise, we can uh, close down and leave the business to the big box stores and to the national online resellers. Right. And also, I would like to mention that my partner, Phil Herzog, actually uh, has lived in Thailand for four or five years. Together with me, when I worked for him, he was my boss. He has a condo at uh, Lakeside Golf and Country Club. And so uh, it's not just by accident or by weird, bizarre happening that I'm here. I spent the winter time in California with him to help him develop the campaign. We are really new at crowdfunding, um, but we have a good legal counsel in, uh, in San Diego, California, the a company Shepard and Mullins, Kurt Schultberg. So if you want to do due diligence, check us out. Uh, you know, we're willing to go all the way. Okay. The business model for, for scale up is uh, you will expand or you sell the franchise? No franchise. The idea is that we would find other family stores, well-established brands, trusted brands that are in a similar situation and then have a leveraged buyout with them. That means we're, we, we would love to keep them in the business, but um, we would uh, unify them under the Sierra Lifestyle brand that you just see here back up on the slide. Okay. So outside of gaining economies of scale, I can, I can understand your plight. Do you think there's a need for you to create other experiences in and around it that make it unique to, pardon my terminology, to a mom and pop shop? Would there um, be of value to create other experiences around it? We, we actually understand that. Already now, we are unique in a way that our staff is not just, uh, let's say, um, uh, temporary people who, who are on an $8 hourly wage and then who we cycle in and out. Uh, we have many people that have worked with us for five, 10, or even more years. These people are knowledgeable of the Sierra. They know the best, uh, they know how to advise you how, which snowboard to pick for a beginner. They know where to go, maybe for a family to ski. They know where to hike. So what must make us unique is not only the store design, it has to do with passionate people who know the Sierra and the outdoors and who are a preferred choice for people, for the, for the 60 million domestic market in California to shop and, um, and go. Thank you very much, Julie. The time is up. Thank you for your okay, My time is up. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.